Hey guys, this video is going to be about colored magic. Um, it's going to be talking about colored candles magic. Um, I want to talk about colors. So you have a spell in your head. You want certain colors to incorporate your spells. Um, we all know the basic colors that goes with it. We know that red represents love and blue represents water and and black represents of repelling and protection. But really, what happened if you have a specific color, specific things, what two? I have a list of colors and it's pretty universal. Right I wrote down, it's pretty much universal to people. Um, and I want to know, and I want you guys to know is that this is my personal views on colors. Um, you may agree, some may agree, some may not. Some may agree that, and here's where it comes to anthem and wands, my anthem versus wand videos. And some may agree that air is, is uh, yellow. Some may agree that air is blue. Some may think that air is white. I think air is yellow because it deals with intellect and stuff like that. So it comes to like disagreement, but it's it's good. It's good. Write down below that some colors you agree and some colors you don't agree with me. But it's it's just overall amazing. I want to hear it. Um, sorry if my nose is running. Allergies is kind of taking over. Um, so I want to start off, and I have them alphabetically order. Um, some colors you can care less. So after I after I describe a little bit of info of each color, I'm gonna go over them with keywords for you to write down. Um, for you to write down, but some of them may not. I may not have keywords for some of them because. Some of them is really hard to find. Um, so I want to start off black. People think black candles are evil, satanic. It's because black represents the opposite of white. When really black is not a color, it's a negative of all colors. So what's a negative of all colors? Negative meaning removal in a form of sense. You're minusing it away from you. So listen, black absorbs and removes anything. Reversing, uncrossing, binding, negative forces, protection, releasing, breaks up blockage, and unsticks uh, stagnate situations. Black is also to use to create confusion and discords amongst your enemies or repair dark magic and negative thoughts, uh, uh, thought forms. This color is the one of the most powerful colors available. However, be careful how to use it. If you use a if you use a black candle for selfish, evil purposes and negative things, the energy will backlash upon you. And this falls into the karmic law. Um, so be cautious about black candles. But as I said there, that's pretty much why I view black candle. Blue. This uses the uses of this color depends upon the depth of hue. A light blue. Is for truth and, and uh, inspiration, wisdom, protection, understanding, good health, happiness, and inner peace, fidelity, and patient harmony in the home, and contacting your higher, uh, contacting the higher self. A royal blue, which is like a darker blue, means f uh, is for happiness, loyalty, group success, occult power. And when I say occult power, I don't mean taking over the world power. I mean occult power. It in, in, it infuses more energy and power to it. Um, if you have this dark color. It's a very dark blue. Um, loyalty, success, occult power, and expansion. Use royal blue with cautious. Um, and when I say use royal blue with cautious, is use it with cautious because it's very, very strong color versus a light blue. If it's a basic blue, I use, use it for water, emotion, love. I mean, anything that deals with blue that you see and everything. Brown. It's a beautiful color uh, candle <laughs> to me. This color can attract money, financial success, and influences earth elementals. It is also helpful for concentrating balance, ESP, intuitive, uh, intuition, sorry, intuition, study, to fulfill a basic mater uh, mater material needs, ground and center, or communicate with nature, spirits, and animals. This color is powerful when used in times of financial crisis. People like to say green is easy because green represents money, looks like money and everything. But brown is really good. Brown secures. Brown is a mixture of like 
of green candle for money and financial gains, but it's also stability. So uh, brown is a really good candle to, to financially secure situations of need. Gold. Gold helps with great fortune, intuition, and understanding, divination, fast luck, if the circumstances are out of your control, and financial benefits. It attracts the higher influences, money, gold, knowledge, and happiness. It's primarily associated with the male dainty powers as a god. If you grab a pure gold candle, like I have back there as my taper um, for my god, you're, you're in great luck for it. Um, but if you have one that's coated, it still equals the same. Green, the beautiful color. This color is associated with abundance, fertility, good fortune, generosity, material gain, wealth, success, renewal, marriage, balance, healing, and communicate with nature spirits. It, also, it can also help give a fresh outlook on life and bring balance to an unstable situation. You see how it kind of sounds like brown, but not too much? Um, I like to say that since it's green, it's more related to earth, the elemental earth, more than brown. But brown is also, it's a, I'm really toss up with it. But green brings stability into situations of, of unstable situations that you have. Not just dealing with money, but just in general. It also grounds and censors the thing. Um, indigo, which is sort of bluish, sort of, sort of pink blue purple-ish it's kind of unique color google it <laughs> google it, the color this shade is a saturn color of a such a purplish blue that is almost black yeah see it has that yeah it's a purplish blue that is almost black and it has a very hued violet purplish color look um this is useful for meditation and it neutralizes it neutralizes another mag magics, another's magic. Um, if you have something coming towards you in a very nasty way, it stops it from it stops the person from hurting you. It kind of binds their energy towards you, not them in general, but it binds that energy towards you that they're sending towards you. So if someone's hurt, harming you in any sort of way, this is a good color to use against them or, or just against the action that's going against you. Um, balances out karma and stops another's action. It is also used for stopping gossip, lies, and undesirable, um, undesirable energies. Um, so like I said before, this is a good color to stop. Um, if you're a teenager and you're in high school, this is the best color to stop gossip and lies and street talking, I like to call it. Um, I used an indigo candle in high school and it cleared up a lot of problems and uh, a lot of gossip problems in life. Um, a magenta. This is a really good candle. Um, I'll show you. I only have two left. And I have really stock up on these. Magenta is a beautiful pink, really, really awesome candle. These candles are awesome. And this, I'll tell you why. A very high vibrant frequency that tends to make things happen fast. This hue is usually burned with other candles. Burn alone for quick changes is spiritual healing and exorcism. This is a very this color is a very dark but clear red with a deep purple tint to it. Um, a dark cranberry color. This color can be very difficult to find. These are very difficult to find. Um, uh, magenta candles. Most people just make them. Um, but I learned from using a magenta candle with other candles. Um, just set it next to it. It it's incredible how much the speed of the spell it increases the speed of it not saying that I get a hundred percent success that very instant but it does increase the speed of coming towards me spell wise um, orange this is a vibrant color that helps with adapting encouragement situation attraction sudden changes prosperity creativity enthusiasm success uh, uh, success like i said <laughs> energy um energy it's continue i continue to like to say energy um stamina and mental uh, mental agility it is also discourages laziness helps gain controls draw good things and change uh, and changes luck as this is a very powerful color be certain that you are willing to face major changes if you use this this you have this, or if you have an orange candle, team up with a magenta candle, and you want changes in your life really, really change dramatically fast. 
that is a very powerful candle magic right there in general. Um, so if you're if you're certain that you want change in your life, if you're prepared to have open thoughts, open arms, and open mind for changes in your life, this color would be really dramatically good for your spell. Um, pink. Pink is associated with, uh, with the purest form of true love. Friendship, affection, romantic, spiritual waking, healing, honor, family love, and banishing hatred. This color can also, this color can also banish depression and negativity. This color is good. Add a pink, add an orange. This two colors are really good to help depression. It conquers out a lot of things in life. But pink. Use a pink candle to remove depression. It won't remove depression like you want it to be, like if you take pills and stuff, or you take certain herbs, teas and stuff like that. But it does encourage you to feel self-love, to feel self self-center. Not self-centered, self-center. Um, within you. you. You are at one. And it helps with depression. So if you have depression out there, start burning, start burning pink candles around you. Um, purple. This shade helps with success, idealism, higher psychic ability, wisdom, prog progress, protection, honor, spirit contact, breaking bad habit, driving away evil, divination, greater magical knowledge, spiritual protection, healing, removing jinxes, and hexes, success in the court cases, business a success, and influencing people who have the power, and influencing people who have power and the energies are difficult to handle. So this is say if you have a very untainable free spirit child and you want to at least maintain or obtain certain handle on them. Not a hundred percent. I'm not saying not a hundred percent, but at least trying to contain a certain person with their free will, you have to make sure there's free will. If you want to help kind of control them, gear them towards the right path, like children in general, that your children, this would be a great color to burn around them, um, not actually around them physically. You gotta watch out because certain untamable children can mess up the whole spell by like, taking a candle everywhere, or breaking it, throwing it around. But it's good to, to, to burn a purple candle to influence it. Um, and this, this candle is really good for divination. I would like to say this candle is really good for divination. All sorts of color purple can help with divination. Really good. If you're getting really deep into divination, deeper in the color. If you want to really get light with it, or you want to have an elegant look to it, get light or medium purple. Um, but yeah, this candle is really good. Red. Red is associated with energy, strength, sexual potency, physical desire, passionate love, courage, willpower, and good health. This is a color associated to protect against psychic attacks or conquer fear or laziness. The reason why is because it's really associated with fire. I like to associate with fire with red. And that, when I hear the word fire, when I hear the element fire, it's not lazy. It's really consumable. It's really crazy. It's really sporadically. It doesn't sit in one place like, for instance, earth. It sits in one place. It really doesn't move much. It really doesn't have a dramatic move. It doesn't really have a dramatic force like fire and water does and air. Um, silver. Silver aids with victory, uh, victory, stability, helps with meditation, develops psychic uh, abilities, remove negative powers like negative things towards you, neutralize any situations, and repels dark uh, destructive forces. It is primarily associated with the female deity, and if you see behind me, it represents a goddess um, because it's serene, silver like the moon. It's really serene. It's really, really nice color to look at. It's very feminine if you look at it too. White. This color is used for spiritual, spirituality, and greater attainments in life. Purity, truth, serenity, wholeness, power of a higher nature, contacting spirit, spirit helpers, balancing the aura, confusing enemies that uh, that potentially harms. And when I say enemies through all these, I mean people who is out to harm you, harmful characters, magically or just non. Muggle folk, non-magical folk. Um, helping with pregnancy and birth, raising the vibrations, making everything raise, unsettled vibrations, um, when a stale room or a stale area, having white candles lit in there can raise it up, make it feel homey, make it feel like it's flowing. 
Uh, use um, whenever in doubt about a candle color, use white. It is a highly balanced spiritual hue. White is everywhere, as you see in churches, as you see in weddings, as you see in funerals. White is a really universal color in candle magic. White, if you have no other candles, or if you have this one particular color candle that you can't find or can't have, use white. White is a great substitute. Sorry about that, my battery died. Um, but white is a universal color. Yellow, this is a brilliant color that aids the intellect, imagination, power of mind, creativity, confidence, gentle persuasion, attraction, concentration, inspiration, mentally, uh, clarity, knowledge, uh, medicine, counseling, and healing. These are the colors, uh, this is the color that helps with intellect things if you want to get gain knowledge, like schooling and stuff like that. Um, sorry, I don't have that much time left on my card as well as my battery is somewhat charging a little bit uh, but these are the colors that I use um, so yeah it's up to you if you agree with me or not record everything down if you like add to it your brick of shadows or whatever you're welcome to it blessed be